my first year in New York, I, you know, I got to know him and it was great, but it wasn't until my second season. So Mark Stahl was Henrik Lundqvist's a plane mate. Like, you know, he sat next to mm -hmm. Hank in the plane and Mark didn't start that season because he had gotten hit by his brother, Eric, the year before and suffered a long concussion. Right. So, um, when I got to year two and I got on the plane and there was a seat next to Henrik, I said, Hey, Hank, uh, you mind if I sit here? And he said, no, absolutely. So then we started talking. Uh, we started watching TV shows together. So I was in charge of the computer or the iPad. And every time we got on the plane, I had the shows ready. I had the splitter, the headphones, <laughs> everything. So we got to hang out together. We got to go to dinner together on the road. Um, I keep telling everybody one of my last NHL road trip before I retired, we were in Anaheim and I went shopping with, with Hank and, you know, we spend like the better part of four hour, four or five hours in a mall in Anaheim. And uh, it was one of the most incredible experience that I've ever gone through. <laughs> like he just sees a, he loves fashion. He loves music, loves new things. And, and I walked into a store where I would have never walked in before and we're in there for 45 minutes and he's showing me all these cool things and, 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 you know, um, vinyl album the record that he's like, Oh, I'm going to, I really got to get this record, got to get that record. And so, and the clothes, I mean, he's one of the better dressed, uh, player in the national hockey league. So it was always really cool. I, it's not something that I was, you know, uh, very knowledgeable in like I, I wear sweatpants and sweatshirts on my days <laughs> off and I just relax at home. Right. And mm -hmm. Hank is always wearing a jacket to dinner uh, because that's, that's his thing.